Good morning, everyone. We are in an Uber in Denver, Colorado, just outside, and we are going to see Rose. One of the few people that can be greeted by their first name, MMA legend. And we're going to see if she can teach me some grappling. Going to take me through a bit of a workout, see if I can slip a rear naked choke from her, and see if her husband can beat me up. Wish me luck. What's happening, guys? Thank you so much for watching. I can't wait to show you what Rose and I got up to. Before we do, I just wanted to tell you guys a bit about what brought us together, and that was Perfect Sports. We are both sponsored by them, and a lot of the best in the world are sponsored by them because, simply put, they make the best products. They are most famous for Diesel Protein, which is the first company to do New Zealand whey protein and the only protein that doesn't make me poo myself. But the one thing that I wanted to talk about was Altered State. We both use this to get ready whenever we have to train, fight, do anything of high exertion. And there's a little bit of high exertion stuff that you're about to watch. So lift heavy, be kind, and enjoy the video. All right, we're with Rose in the private Rose gym. Little quick gym tour. So you said you just moved and now this is twice as much space you had before. Yes, yeah. yes. Um, um, it's cool because uh, I've always wanted to have a home gym and it was like right before COVID when I actually like stopped procrastinating and ended up like, uh, you know, uh, decking it out at, at my other place. And then COVID hit and it was a perfect thing because yeah. Um, yeah, we ended up like we're in a, winning a world title through that. Yeah, right. Yeah. So world title, and you mostly trained in, in my garage. Yeah. No way. Yeah, I mean, I you know wow. we we supplement with you know other gyms every once in a while, but like the bulk of the training happens at home. But you're not a person who who goes into a camp for eight weeks and goes away and. Not um, really. you it's know what's uh, funny? Like, uh, so not normally, but uh, I think for the last uh, year or two, I will. Every once in a while, I'll go to Minnesota uh, at the academy um, and train with Greg Nelson, who okay. um, he ended up training Brock Lesnar, like we were talking before. Anyway, so we'll, we'll I'll go back to Minnesota every once in a while because that's where I got my amateur career sort of started or like early professional. Yeah. And um, just to kind of tap into the roots a little bit more, but you know, home home is you know home sweet yeah. home. Yeah, it's good. Yeah. It's good. And we've got someone very important giving us a watchful eye today. Yeah. Uh, which is one of the <laughs> Gracie's post patients. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, we got Haley O. Gracie over here. He's the, you know, he invented Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. Like, he's the father of it all. So to me, like, out of all the martial arts, like Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, um, every martial art has its place and value, but Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, I think, overall checks the most boxes as far as, like, just, I don't know, beneficial, like, self defense, you know? So, um, so yeah. I think what would be cool if we had a couple of a couple of ways mm -hmm. to take them down. Yeah. A way yeah. to tap them out from like maybe a all force position. Mm -hmm. A way to tap them out from the ground. Yeah, that yeah. Would be awesome. Okay. And then we're gonna find some ways for you to tap me out. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I like it. I like it. <laughs> trying to you know do something on Pat. I would because you're taller. I would try to like grab his neck and like put. So I would be like here and try to get all my weight on his neck like this. But you see, like it's okay. kind of tiring because he's gonna be resisting. He's gonna try to like stand up taller. So, you know what I mean? So you're just gonna like feel that and like almost just like hang like a, like a, like from a pull up bar. Yeah. You know, like you're, you're just dead hang on his neck. Okay. Right. And we want to try to get him to the wall. Okay. Right. So I'm, you know, if I'm you, I'm gonna be like pushing you backwards. I'm gonna maybe like go side to side. Yeah. And as soon as I feel that, um, anytime that he starts to like, if you feel his weight trying to like really resist and go like stand up upright, yeah. then I'm gonna change my levels. Okay. And I'm gonna get my shoulder. I'm gonna try to squeeze my shoulder. Yeah, like right here as right. much as possible. Okay. And then I'm gonna use the wall. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna use the wall to try to lift you up as much as possible. Because then you can tuck the leg. Yeah, or it's okay. just uncomfortable as fuck. You yeah, know what I mean? <laughs> and you see I'm always, controlling yeah. a wrist. Yeah. So anytime, and then, so you have a couple options here, depending on what their defense is. You know, a lot of the times, I think a good, you know, um, like clasping your hands here, and then, you know, stepping out like that. <laughs> you know what I mean? So it's like, all right, hands on, boom, right here, yeah. And now I'm gonna be pushing, pushing, and, and sometimes it's like a juking from side to side or whatever, mm -hmm. if he's, uh resisting right and then you want here or here and then if you can snap down 
boom, we're gonna snap down. And then you see I'm uh, blocking this elbow. Yeah, always. Yeah, and now. Because that could come up. Yeah, so. exactly. And because if I don't block this, um, if I go around to your back, you can pick this arm up and grab. Yeah, exactly. Okay. So we wanna try to control arms as much as possible and then get behind this. Okay. And now I can do my chokes. I can uh, punch, I can even just disengage if I feel uncomfortable, right? Cool. This is day one, version one of the Hooper School of Self-Defense. Yeah. <laughs> so do that first one to me. Okay, yep. Where you're trying to pull my head down. Oh well, yeah. Mm -hmm. Try to take me right down. Okay, okay. Right? <laughs> 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 oh my gosh, that was scary. <laughs> And then the whole, the whole oh, lean. Get around, get around his arm, so. Yep, remember, so, hand yeah. on the tricep, on so, the other tricep. Yeah. So change this Bang. grip yeah. right here. I mean, that's not a bad grip, but if you want to get around to the back, get this hand like this right here. And instead of, yeah, instead of like this, oh, okay. get, get um, a cup of his chin, like, little, like right here. And you really want to put your shoulder in the back of his back, like there, tricep or you know armpit or whatever. Now you're gonna take this around. Once you wanna go, you're gonna replace. Yeah. So you push mine on this way. So I can't grab you like there that. There you go, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 From here. Okay. I know the next one. Oh, Let no. me come here. Yes. Let me come here. There you go. Oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> all right, well, let's go over another one. Let's go. If he was down on all fours. Yeah, yeah. I was on his back. Okay, yep. What do we do? So we want to kind of like break his base first. So one one kind of hand on this side, not too deep, you know, because he can do certain things. Just, like he, he can almost like gripping the lap. Yeah, just kind of like grabbing right here. So you can't reach around. Yeah, 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 because you can get rolled like that. So and then like um some some sort of monitoring this arm, and then I'm gonna just step. I'm gonna take my weight back this way while like kind of holding him. So I'm gonna get him on a butt butt cheek, you know. Now I'm gonna get the seat bow grip. So one kind of around his neck, one underneath an arm. And now I'm gonna try to get this bottom leg in. Boom. And now, and then you see the other leg is in too. The, the most important one, ooh, sorry Pat, is the bottom leg. Yeah. Now the, the arm that's on top is gonna be the choking, okay. right? And then I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to grab his shoulder. Yeah, he's gonna be trying to defend, but, and then I wanna, Reach in my other arm and get uh, my ear as close to his ear. Okay. If and this then just foot was if this foot was out. Yeah. And you were trying to do the same thing. Yeah. Why does that not work? Because he's gonna. Yeah, exactly. He's gonna turn around. He's either gonna. He's gonna do his defenses. You know, like. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So now you want to try to. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait. Okay. So you want to try to get your legs or your hips behind his hips. Yes, big there you spirit. go. We call this big yeah. spirit. <laughs> yeah. And then, and then you want your left leg to hook underneath his left leg. Yes, get, get all the way Yeah, um, other side. So on, on so top. Yes. There you go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, oh there you go. Keep that's, stretching. That's the twister right there. Keep you could kill him like that, but so be careful. <laughs> but that's the... <laughs> See, big boys don't even need the proper twister. They just, they just pull. Okay. Life depends on it. You get the sure. Okay, right. so I, do I want to be all the way, like half the choke? I want you in 100%. Okay, okay. All right. Okay, you ready? Like, tell me, tell me when to go. Okay, go. <laughs> <laughs> okay. No. <laughs> There's no chance. No. There's yeah. no chance at all. All right. Oh, <laughs> Mitchell zero, Rose one. I feel like the arm bar would probably give you the best chance of escaping just because, you know, it's just, there's less angles. Yeah, so if I'm here, if I get to this point, you know, I want to try to, I want to try to just lift, uh, you know, break this 
this joint right here. All right. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, no, do you okay. feel that? That was okay. That? Okay, cool. I'm fighting. Yeah, so um, do you want to try to escape that? or? <laughs> how, how, would you, how, how would you escape from that? Yeah, yeah. How, how would you what, get what, out? What would you think? I think. Bicep curl. We're here. <laughs> we're there. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's kind of the tricky part. Because then if you were to do that, let's say. Yeah. You know, I would try to grab this. And to break your grip and then try to go back this way. You is, know what is I mean? There any, is there any standing version of an armbar? Yeah. I don't think you could tap me. I think I'd rip my own okay. bicep off trying to stop you. Okay. Yeah. All, right. All right. So <laughs> tell me when to go. Yeah, go. Okay. He goes straight forward. He's like, you're like, you're like, you're like. Show me. Show me. You got to <laughs> yeah, it is. Good. Terrible. One more. Go. Okay. Okay. <laughs> All right. Um, just like this, the same same situation. Can you do it? Yeah. I'll, I'll try. I'll try my best. I'll try my best. All right. Yeah. I'll let you have it. Ready? Yeah. Okay. Go. Yeah. Is that such an advantage for you? Yes. I yeah. feel like if you can't get there. Because this is your, this is dangerous, all right here, all your weapons. Yeah. You can be 45 seconds fighting it up. Call, <laughs> calling for mom. Yeah, I gotta have cardio for sure. Yeah. Hey, go, grab, grab a, grab a uh, outside single and dump and go from there. Uh, he's, he's talking about uh, me on him or? Hey, grab an outside single, dump him and go from there. Uh, head outside or head inside? Head okay, all right. So I'm gonna be right here. Yep. And then, um, yeah, whenever you're ready, we can go. I, I, I don't think you could. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> 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 it's like a monkey. <laughs> <laughs> then I do my hooper lock. <laughs> One thirty-five, three fifteen. Look what she's doing to me, man! Oh man! Yeah, that's 